Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Early Career Academic and today we're going to be looking at the month of December 2021. I'm going to plan out the month uh, using the month calendar here. Now typically I start these videos with a review of the previous month. However, I am not really ready to review the month of November. Uh, I mean, not ready to do the uh, the entire review that Passion Planner offers you in terms of thinking through what happened in that month and how it went and, you know, whether you want to uh, improve anything or let go of anything, right? Um, I'm just not, I'm not here. I, I, I don't have enough energy or emotional fortitude to get through it. So what I'm going to say is that November was an incredibly busy month. Um, it challenged me in ways I wasn't expecting, in some ways I was expecting. Um, if you've been watching my channel, you know that I'm still working through the loss of my baby over the summer um, and our ongoing fertility struggles as well as um, our adoption process. And um, November was um, good and good and bad in many ways. I mean, I still I had some health issues from October that lingered into November that caused a lot of disruptive situations. Um, but then I got better, and that was very. Um, and it just changed um, everything. It changed everything in a positive way for me. And then the um, last, um, these last few days of November have, um, again, kind of thrown me for a loop a little bit, still processing that. Uh, I don't really want to talk about it right now, maybe in the future, but for now, what I want to do is look ahead, look forward. Um, so not as much looking back this time, but looking forward, hopefully to a better month where, um, you know, my health is, is so solid, my my mental health is also solid, you know, just hoping that the month of December goes a little bit better um, all together um, for me so that I can um, enjoy the holiday season and um, just feel more like myself again um, would be nice. As you can see, I went ahead and I pre-decorated the month view. Um, I used this sticker book again from the Recollections um, collection, for, and I get this at Michael's. It's got like a lot of really adorable um, kind of fall, fall slash winter stickers. And I like the whole kind of look of it, the muted um, kind of classic Christmas. Um, I did combine some of the sticker themes into this spread, but tried not to like overdo it. And um, I think I really like how it turned out. A good combination of kind of that burgundy red and then this um, forest green. It, I think it just turned out really well. Um, I'm also going to use my Micron pen for writing in things that are happening and this green Tombow, this is 126. I don't have a burgundy um, pen of any kind, so that's on the wish list certainly for Christmas. Um, and hopefully I will have more pens to show you at some point. Um, as you can see, I did some forward planning, which I, which I have covered up because some things changed and I also just you know, I hadn't really come into my planning style yet when I did that. Um, this business here on the side was really hard to cover up. Um, I mean, it was hard. It was hard. As you can see, it's kind of janky. But uh, this is where I was tracking my pregnancy, like the weak numbers of my pregnancy. So I covered it up, obviously, when my pregnancy ended. Um, so it does look a little dorky. I might put some washi over it to, I don't know, to make it look a little better, but I, don't, I just wasn't sure what to put there. So that's to be determined. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and plot some things that are happening in this month on the right days. Um, and then I'm going to think through um, some projects. And I might, what I might do is do a little vision board in this area for things that I want to do um, or, you know, the way I want my month to kind of feel like for me. Um, I am going to do a different video where I do my winter bucket list, um, which will have more um, details about like what I want to like do in this season. Um, over time I've realized that like if I don't make a list of things I want to do in a particular season then it will pass me by and I'll regret kind of not doing some of those things. I did really well on my fall bucket list. I did everything on it which was awesome um, considering how crazy the fall was for me. Um, so but it did help you know it helped me to to feel like I was tuned in to the season, um, you know, doing things that I can only do in this, in this particular season, in the season of fall. 
So that's um, something that's coming here on the channel. I'm going to do a winter bucket list. Um, okay, so I'm just going to jot some things down that I know are happening so that I get a bird's eye view of the month and I can think about how I want to spend, especially the weekends in December. Um, okay, so this Friday, and I wonder, maybe I should use some of these like functional stickers. I'm running out of functional stickers that go with this theme that um, are the right sizes. I do kind of like these flags. Let me see what else we got. I've got one here. These I'd need to write a sh the Sharpie over for them to show, but they're kind of cute. Okay, so I might do that. Um, yeah, let's do that. It'll look a lot prettier than me just writing stuff. Plus, I can cover up some of this stupid whiteout tape. Okay. Um, so Friday is the writing group writing coven and that's maybe the last one that we do I'm not sure I have to pull the group and see if they want to meet the 17th as well it's getting kind of close to Christmas so sometimes we take a little break over the winter break and then we revisit in the in the new semester um I have some MLA materials due on the 6th, but I don't, I don't need to really put that on here. That's on my week view. It's not important. I do have that registration deadline, but that's okay, because that's on my to-do list. I don't need to jot it down here. Ah, this would be helpful to know. What I think I might do for this one is I'm not going to write on this little thing. But I am going to mark this day with it. And I'm just going to jot with my, with my pen here. It's the final um, computer core class. And I just like to, you know, remember that so that I can plan something a little fun and uh, also so that I remember not to like keep adding it to my schedule after this point. Okay, so that's looking good. And then um, the 16th and the 1st are paydays. And I have some payday stickers I'm going to jot down later. I think I still have them somewhere. I just need to find them. Um, and then my friends baby's birthday is coming up so I'm gonna put a little note to myself and something I've been doing like recently to probably too late is putting which birthday it is especially for the younger kids like I have a lot of friends with the kids you know and I forget how old they are, you know, like I, f I forget because I don't have a mechanism for like, sometimes I have to go in our texts and literally be like, you know, enter a keyword to see like, when did they text me that their baby was born? <laughs> because then, and then I do the math, which is like too much work. So what I've been doing is whenever I write down uh, their birthday coming up, I just update it by a year. So I know it's like Gwen's second birthday. And then that way I can remember how old she is, you know. Um, I know other people like set a calendar reminder and they'll like put second, third, fourth, and so on. So you know which birthday it is. That's kind of clever too. It might be something that I adopt in the future, but for now this is working. Um, also, it is my husband and I's elopement anniversary this day. And... It'll be, let's see, this is the year 2021. It'll be our sixth um, anniversary. We did elope about a year and some change before our actual wedding. Um, and I'm a fan. And I know a lot of people did this in the pandemic too. Like they got married legally and they're going to have a big party when 
you know, everyone can be safe and comfortable. Um, and it was, it was actually kind of nice to have that day just for us. And, you know, to, by the time our wedding came around to have been married for a year, because you get a lot of people who are like, Oh, the first year is the hardest one, which is like a joke, first of all. Um, but second of all, you know, we had already done the year, so we felt really good about it. We we're like, haha, we already been married for a year. Um, and again, it just was kind of nice to have that day for us. Like it was just us and our parents and that's it. And whatever else happened for the wedding that we, you know, that we, uh, organized with our family and friends, we knew that we had this great day with just us and just, just our commitment to each other. Uh, my husband's company is having a little um, happy hour in lieu of a holiday party. So we may attend that. And I am going to California, as I said, with my family. And I now know when that's happening. So I'm going to mark it off with something. Oh, I have... Um, I have some washi options. I actually think I'm gonna go with this one because I've already used the red so much. So if I can find the here we go. And what I'm doing is I'm just marking off the days that I will be gone. I need to get, like, I see all these people with great washi cutters, and I need to get one. Well, obviously it's not a need, it's more of a want. Um, so I'll be gone the 16th through the 21st. So just kind of like a long weekend. Well, almost a week, but enough time to see my grandparents and hang out with my family at the hotel. We're gonna do a little swimming because it's gonna be, well, they have heated pools, um, but it's also California, so it's not like you're swimming in 30 degrees. Let me get these scissors situated. All right, perfect. So I'm just going to put a little note to myself here. Okay. <clears throat> um, what else is happening? This John has some doctor appointments, but I don't need to put those on my calendar. Sorry, y'all. I'm just taking a look. So we have our anniversary. Oh, I obviously want to mark Christmas here. And I'm not sure if I have in this book. Well, I do have a little Merry Christmas sticker, but it's it's actually not little. It's humongous. So let me see if I have something that's tinier. I have Happy Holidays. I think there's smaller stickers up here. Maybe there's a, ooh, yeah. Here we go. Merry Christmas. A little understated, but whatever. The rest of the spread looks nice. Oh, uh, and then there's New Year's Eve. And I don't think I have even anything that has, like, New Year on it. But what I will do is put some functional stickers to mark it off. I think that'll be nice. That'll look nice. This year, this year, my husband is working weekends in December and, um, but his company, because Saturday, like Christmas is on Saturday and New Year's Day is on Saturday, his company is giving everyone off these two days, the 24th and the 31st. So Christmas Eve and Chris and uh, New Year's Eve. Um, so he will have these days off, which is nice. 
and then he'll he always and then when he works weekends he gets Mondays and Tuesdays off so that's the trick with planning things in December for us is sometimes like I want to plan something but I know he's going to be working um, but he gets off at 2 30 every day so the nice part about that is if we did plan something that like he would be done early enough in the day to like do it do whatever it is so what I'm seeing here from doing this exercise is basically from my trip on is just going to be like holidays and travel. So that leaves these two weekends for us to do something. And we are going to his company's happy hour on Friday. Um, but we have these two weekends to maybe get together with friends uh, or have like a little mini holiday party of some kind. Um, and that actually leads me to kind of my... My vision board I would like to have like a little holiday cocktail party not sure which weekend it's gonna be but it's gonna be one of them honestly this weekend will be better because I will be done with final grades by then and I can relax so that's probably the weekend it's gonna be here this weekend's probably going to be just prepping for Christmas, like getting some stuff because I'll be traveling and stuff. So probably prep for Christmas that weekend. Um, other things I envision for this month, I definitely need time. I need to like force myself to rest. Um, what I want to do for that is... A couple of things. I want to get back into my reading, my TBR pile. I want to um, walk every day. And I want to get back into meditating. Yeah. Um, other things for the month of December. Spend some time with family. Enjoy my decor. I love just sitting in my living room looking at my Christmas tree all lit up with some like hot cocoa or coffee. It's like very pleasurable to me. Um, what else would be kind of fun this month? Um, ah, you know what I, so this is like Dipping into my winter bucket list a little bit, but this is month specific and not like whole season specific. And that is um, drive around to see Christmas lights. Maybe some baking. Well, I definitely am going to do some baking because I mail um, baked treats to family, but I was thinking more like just for pleasure, you know, like no, no pressure to get it in the mail or anything, but just like enjoy, enjoy that. Cause I actually have fallen, fallen off a little bit of cooking and baking. Like I do still do it to like eat, feed my family and stuff. But, um, you know, guys, I'm, t it's been a hard year and I'm not going to lie. It, you know, I don't take as much pleasure in things I used to take pleasure in. So getting back to that might be a good thing, especially if I'm like just trying to like not do work related things, but like fun things that I know I enjoy. Um, what else do I envision for this month? This is kind of like a fun exercise, like thinking about what I'm hoping for. I really hope it snows. <laughs> I know I have no control over that, but I love it. I love it when it snows in December. I'd like, 
I pretty much like it until the spring semester starts and then I'm over it. But actually I could take it up to Valentine's Day and then I'm over it. But it would be really nice if it snowed. So I think that's a good little vision board. Not everything I'm going to be doing or everything I like want to do in my winter bucket list, but it is some of the things and I think that would be kind of fun. Um, places to go. California, for sure. Um, we may also do like a little trekking, John and I, like around. Um, depends on scheduling, but it actually might be fun to visit Occoquan again because they, they uh, and Middleburg, they decorate, you know, for Christmas. And it's really adorable and pretty. People to see. Grandparents, for sure. I imagine I'm going to see my sister again because she'll be back up for the holidays. Um, I definitely, as I said, want to have that, like, cocktail hour. So, like, seeing some friends would be great. Also, my, like... My, one of my good friends is moving closer to me, so maybe we will be able to finagle a trip to see each other, but I'm not sure because I know how it is to move and that's extremely overwhelming. So I'm not gonna put any pressure on her, but we'll see. It'd be kind of fun to see each other if possible. And that might not happen till the new year, which is okay. This month's focus. Um, I forget which of these is personal or work and I covered it up with a sticker, but we'll just go with it. For work, it is literally, um, Yeah, actually, I'm just going to put one big goal, and that is to rest. It's been a long year, and I'm tired, y'all. I'm tired, and I need to give myself a break. And, you know, because most of December is a lot of, like, holiday-related and travel and whatnot, this is a great month for me to, like, you know, throw off the fall semester here and just stop, like stop with the work, come back to it in the new year. It's not, it's not going anywhere. Work will be there. Um, so if I'm thinking about my, my passion roadmap, um, I'm actually doing pretty well. Yeah. I think, um, I think I'm not going to put any of those things on here. As I said, this month is about relaxing and resting and recovering from the year. So I'm not going to put any like top priority projects. I mean, the only thing is like wrapping up the semester, but I have to do that because that's my job. It's not exactly a project. I don't think there's any projects that I really want to tackle in this month. I think I just want to experience it with no projects. And I'm giving you guys permission to do that too. If you want to just live in the moment. Not think about your goals, think about them in the new year, and figure it out later. But just sort of like, go with the flow. So that's it for this plan with me for the month of December 2021. I hope you guys found it interesting, helpful, maybe giving yourself a little permission to like rest and relax. I know this doesn't seem like rest because it's a lot happening, but it is rest for me. It is rest because I am not tackling any new projects. It is rest because it's not focused on work, publishing, or teaching. Um, I mean, I have a little teaching that I'm doing, but it's going to be done. It's mostly about family and um, holidays and just relaxing. So anyhow, so again, thank you for sticking around for this kind of like meandering little plan with me that I did. Um, I'd love to know what you're planning for the month of December. Do you have like a specific like list of things that you like to do? Uh, if so, what are they? And also, if you're interested in my winter bucket list, I am going to post a video about that. So subscribe if you want to get that notification. Um, and, uh, and yeah, I hope, I hope your month of December is the best one yet. Uh, I'll see you back here on the channel for some more, uh, Christmas related video vlogs, uh, as well as some additional fun with me. Hoping you guys are having a good one. I'll see you back here.